Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel. This is the second video in my two-part series on upgrading an APC UPS with a network management card. Please watch the first video to get the full context for this one. But for a very brief summary, I had purchased an APC UPS in 2017 and decided to upgrade it with a network management card or NMC to give me control of the unit via a web interface. Following a small bit of metal work, I fitted the card into the slot. Now, as well as the NMC firmware that I covered in detail in the first video, the UPS also has its own firmware, also available from the APC website. Check your own model on the matrix, but the SMX750 firmware is at version UPS 10.1. There are two ways to upgrade the UPS, and I chose to use my new network management card for this one. All the instructions are on the website, and you can check the ID of the UPS with either the network card or on the LCD display. The ID for my SMX unit was 20, so I downloaded that version and unzipped the file. Then, using the web interface, select the firmware update option. The UPS must be turned off before updating the firmware, so make sure you've done that. Then navigate to the unzipped firmware file. The accompanying text file confirms the version with release notes detailing the changes from the previous versions. Once the update is complete, the UPS requires a restart, and the LCD display confirms that I am running the latest and greatest apparently version. But this is when I discovered that something had gone drastically wrong. When I logged back into the web interface, I discovered that the UPS was no longer visible to the network card. All the options here relate to the NMC only. Compare this to the old footage below showing the connected UPS and all the additional options. I thought I might be able to recover the connection by making an attempt to reinstall the firmware using the second option with the USB connection on the back of the UPS. This involves downloading the firmware upgrade wizard from the APC website. Once that has been unzipped and installed, the wizard will look for the UPS on both USB and serial connections. I left the device manager open on the left hand side here to show that the UPS was connected. But every time I ran the wizard, it just would not recognise the UPS. I even borrowed a USB to serial converter and tried to connect via a COM port, but they just refused to speak to each other. I spent a considerable amount of time communicating with APC support about the problem and they suggested a few things, including a factory reset on the UPS, which they call brain dead, but nothing worked, and eventually they sent me out a replacement unit under warranty. When the replacement arrived, one interesting thing to note here is that they only send out the bare unit now with no accessories. This is some old footage of my original unboxing, and you can see here all the accessories that came with it. This is actually the second time APC have replaced my UPS as the original unit was making a high-pitched and annoying noise and I'll have to say that although they are expensive, APC support is excellent. This is the new unit with the factory test results taped to the top as standard. And the first thing I did was check if the wizard would connect to the UPS via USB, which it did. However, I did not follow through with the upgrade on the wizard. After spending a considerable amount of time on this project, I'm going to leave the UPS on the known good firmware version of 9.8 until APC release an update to version 10.1, just in case. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and if you want to see more admittedly obscure content like this, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.